Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Anna. I'm a makeup teacher and educator specifically for people with hooded eyes. And today we are doing something super, super exciting. I got the Natasha Denona Xenon palette. I bought it myself. I ordered it off of the Natasha Denona website. Um, please use my code Anastasia15 if you do the same thing. And we are going to play around with it. Here she is in all her glory. Let's talk about her a little bit. So right away I want to say something the pictures on the promo were kind of different these shades looked let's pretend I didn't do that these shades over here looked way more neutral pinky and more brown right now when I'm looking at the palette it just looks like a bunch of different gray tones which listen there is a place in the world for a palette like that and I know that a lot of people were very, very excited about this palette. So today I am going to just basically be reviewing this palette and also creating two different looks with it because I see people online creating smoky light, smoky looks with this palette. Obviously, it is a perfect palette for a smoky look. But can this palette pull off like a neutral everyday look that's my goal today i want to do like a neutral everyday look on one eye and then a deep smoky and everything this palette is on the other eye so this is the natasha denona midi xenon palette in case i never mentioned that it comes in in a box like this it looks exactly like the component really cute really gorgeous sleek black packaging with kind of like a starry sky type of vibe um on the cover not sure about that i love it though it looks super cute i do not own the mini xenon maybe that is kind of a sign to you as to what i think about this color story i love it so 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 much but i need more I need more, but at the same time, I'm really happy for people who will get this and be excited about it. Like, I am just one person. It's just my personal opinion. I bought it because I'm a huge fan of the brand, and I basically buy every lunch now, I guess, my poor wallet. Anyways, I want to show you what I mean by saying I want more. Right after this, we'll get to the swatches. So take a look at this palette right here. I know it is ginormous, but you clearly see a bunch of grays on the one side and then a rainbow color story on the other side so you basically have this palette where you can combine grays and colors and it all flows and works together so beautifully so i feel like if a couple of other colors were included i'm not saying a full rainbow moment but like say grays and blues like one blue or two blues and a couple purples that would be a fun color story, right? Maybe more so for a colorful eyeshadow lover, but people who love grays would also have purchased that palette. So I feel like I want a little bit of oomph, a little bit of something interesting there. However, I still enjoy it. It's still gorgeous. This is, by the way, um, Be Perfect um, Interstellar palette, Carnival palette with Stacey Maria Mue, a very talented makeup artist. And I also noticed that these grays, you can see that they have different tones to them like these are leaning green these are leaning blue and that's why they're so cool to mix with colorful mattes so i love and enjoy this palette already and it's great quality it's definitely like not an expensive luxury quality like in this palette which is fine um that palette cost way less maybe not way less but it's larger and it costs less uh, but yeah, let's get to swatches. I'm excited. I know I'm saying that this is not typically like what I go for, but I'm still very, very excited. And the shimmers here look spectacular. So let's just go ahead and swatch some of the shades. I'm just gonna pick up the first three. Take a look right there. Spectacular. OMG. So we got, where should I swatch them? Rhyme. Oof, stunning. Cy Cygrus? is that a word oh, this is probably my favorite shade in the palette i haven't swatched any others but this is spectacular and then we do have stellar which is kind of like a sparkly topper it looks really gorgeous next we have blizzard and gray this beautiful gunmetal shade which i feel like a lot of you are gonna love Oof. listen the swatches <laughs> are there the swatches are swatching this is getting me really excited like if i'm gonna go for a gray look now i'm gonna take this palette and just play around with it whereas in the past i would just like 
try and open up a bunch of different palettes. Oh, this feels so good. All right, so we got shades. These names are getting so difficult for me. Ebb, Superionic, and Sposh. Literally, what are any of these words? I don't know, but I'm not a native speaker, so I don't have to. Ebb, Superionic. This is amazing. And Sposh, which is that dark matte shade in here. Um... These swatches look gross, but I already started, so this is what we get today. Now we're gonna swatch the shade that looks pink on the promo pictures, Snowbow. I'm really excited to see what that is. And Night Sky, as far, ooh, that feels different. As far as I understand, so yeah, this shade has some pink to it. It is probably a shade with like a pink base. You see, if I turn my hand, you can see kind of a darker base. So yes, there is a pink base and it's quite, it's quite pink in real life. It even has some blue uh, speckles in there. So I'm not mad at it. Ooh, this is so, so stunning. It's kind of a, a satin, I want to say. Like you could definitely use it in the crease and not have any problem with that. All right, so we have the last row here that kind of looks lighter and more neutral contrail snort and neve this would be such a gorgeous look oh my god i love a very 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 light matte in a corner so you better believe this palette is going into my personal palette whenever i like rearrange my natasha denona palettes this is going to be my go-to inner corner shade all right last two shades of the palette flurry and skit the ones that are going to actually be a part of my everyday neutral type of look. At least that's what I am thinking of. Yeah, yeah, you could definitely, you could definitely do a neutral look with this. Definitely. All right, where do I have space? So yeah, this matte and then this gorgeous shimmer. Uh, I like the pink more. Maybe we'll use the pink. Anyways, so these are the most disgusting swatches you've ever seen, but this is what we have today. Honestly... This looks great. This looks great. If you like grays, if you like cool tones, if you're a little bit in a goth culture or, you know, any other culture <laughs> where grays are appropriate, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. So let's just have a little bit of fun and do two different looks. I'm going to use my regular primer for both eyes. So this is by Juvia's Place and I absolutely adore their primers. To be honest, a lot of different primers work with the Natasha Denona shadows. You could probably just use concealer as base, but I am a big eye primer girl because I have hooded and oily eyelids. So I'm just going to blend it out to the brows and out to the temples. I'm gonna use a big fluffy brush. This is by BK Beauty A503 and pick up the shade Flurry, which is kind of like a more neutral options and I'm going to place it on the outer corner and then kind of start blending it inwards um it does pull gray on me but you know I'm not mad at it the shimmer is gonna make it more warm this like everyday look is going to be super super simple whereas on the other eye we're gonna go crazy with the smoke and the sparkle okay so this is a wash of color we have so far it's looking nice just a bit of definition kind of what I anticipated it to look like so I did want to go in with the shade skiff on my entire lid so I'm just going to pack it on my finger it's really really gorgeous and then basically just press it all over the lid like look how simple and beautiful this look is obviously it's still cool toned and like if you like sparkles and cool tones this look is for you um we're not done yet by the way but i am enjoying it it's just like a one and done type of situation really cute really easy you don't have to go smoky with this palette yeah, I love it. I love this shade. For the inner corner, I do want to go with this matte white shade Contrail, which is one of my favorite, favorite shades in the palette. I'm packing on the inner corner and this immediately opens up my eyes, make them look bigger, brighter, less hooded. Listen, a shade like this is honestly such a plus in any palette. I'm in love. Basically, this is it for the eyeshadow portion of this everyday look. 
I'm gonna add brown eyeliner and brown mascara and show you the final result. All right, so a bit of brown eyeliner, light waterline, and brown mascara. And this is a really cute everyday type of look. Honestly, I'm in love with this. I could use these shades and walk around like this every day and I would feel great. Now we're going to move to the smoky part to try all the sparkling and darker shades. Okay, so I'm using the same eyeshadow primer just to give the shades the same um, base. And we're gonna go in, I have not thought this through. What are we gonna go? I'm gonna grab BK Beauty 206 brush and pick up the shade Blizzard, which is this light gray. I'm going to just kind of apply it above my natural crease. I know that it's pretty much almost like the same tone as my skin. Not as in my skin is gray, but as in like, it's not gonna give me any depth and it's not gonna brighten. So it's not gonna do anything, <laughs> but I'm just gonna apply it here as a little base. Now to deepen things up, I'm gonna go in with BK Beauty 211. This is honestly one of my top favorite brushes for hooded eyes because it's fluffy, but it's smaller. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Snurd, which is a true, true mid-tone gray, I wanna say. I'm gonna start applying it on the outer corner and then carefully using circular motions, blending it into my crease. This one is bringing me some depth, which is exactly what I wanted to see. And I'm just going to apply the same shade on the lower lash line and layer this a couple more times. Okay, this shade looks really, really pretty over there. I'm gonna go with the deepest shade in the palette. This is called Sposh right here. I believe this is her cream to powder formula, which I enjoy, but you gotta learn how to work with it. Obviously, I just use it as powder eyeshadow. Um, and I love how easy it is to blend this one out and to layer it out. Like it literally took me 10 seconds. And look at that, we are smoky. So I'm just applying it on the outer corner, kind of blending everything together. I will actually go ahead and take a clean, big fluffy brush and just blend out those edges even further to make everything super, super seamless. These shades look so good on brown eyes. Just like I was talking about the blue palette, it was the mini trio chrome. That one looked amazing. And this one is also gonna look amazing on brown eyes. Okay, I am finally going in with the shade Psychness and I'm using uh, MOTD Cosmetics under the covers brush. It is in my hooded eye brush set that I picked myself and I'm going to apply it right here. What is fascinating to me is that there is no fallout to this shade. I kind of want to touch it myself to see if it's more like creamy or what's the deal, deal here. But look at that high shine. I definitely like want to just do a one and done smoky with this shade, but I do want to apply. Huh, maybe we could maybe we could take it all over the lid. Let's just do it. And then do another shade in the very inner corner, just because this is way too pretty to not put it all over the lid. Like look at that. So stunning, so sultry. Honestly, this shade alone is worth buying this palette. I've never seen anything like this. It's incredible, incredible. I mean, it's Natasha Denona, so obviously we were not looking for anything less than that. I'm gonna take another flat brush and we're gonna go into a lighter shade. I'm gonna actually do a little bit of snow bow, snow bow just because I wanna see how it applies to the lid and if we're actually gonna see any pink or like purple to it, yeah. It's giving a little bit. It's kind of cute. I love it. And then like a super, super light shade. Probably this one right here, Neve. I'm going to put in my very, very inner corner. Very, very inner corner for a bit of sparkle like that. This is looking cute. All right, so same deal. I'm gonna do black liner, black mascara, and probably black waterline. I'm not gonna apply a lash just yet. I'm gonna show you the final result first and then actually decide maybe I don't want a lash because this mascara is very good and share my final thoughts on this palette. All right, guys, so this is the final second look with the new Midi Xenon palette. Smoky, gunmetal, sultry, I'm in love. I added black waterline, black liner and black mascara i honestly decided to not wear a lash today i feel like these looks are even though a little bit dramatic but also super wearable at the same time so i decided to just keep it with a lash because i know a lot of you guys just don't wear lashes on a daily so yeah this is our first kind of daytime look 
and then we have a smoky eye nighttime look super different different levels of drama different levels of gray i am honestly after playing with this palette i am more in love with this i am super happy to have grays high shine shimmers gunmetal shades and sparkling topple toppers by natasha denona and not have to go to my kind of like uh, more affordable palette drawers for these great gray tones because I do have a large ColourPop palette that is very cool toned and I just don't own a luxury formulations with a color story like that. I'm super excited to own this. I'm super, super excited to add it to my collection. Honestly, way happier with this than I anticipated. I love both looks. I definitely will be rocking a look like this um, this holiday season. I will play with this palette a little bit more because I do want to try some other techniques with this palette. Um, let me know if you guys are into this. I've seen the majority of people being really excited about it but also i've seen some people who are kind of like meh let me know what you think about this palette i think it's very out of like thinking outside of the box and very uh on par with what natasha denona has come out with this year being unexpected cute launches not something that we're used to seeing from other brands and i respect that and i love that so much i was honestly more excited about the yaka palette the i need a nude palette and the mini trio chrome but this i'm happy that i have this in my collection especially after seeing it at work on my brown eyes it is spectacular let me actually grab i need a nude palette because that is supposed to be a cool tone palette and i'm gonna put them next to each other to see how that one probably will look very warm so here they both are look at that it definitely feels like i have like a pink brown palette and then a gray palette they look so different they are such great launches honestly mm -mm. i'm obsessed with these they're so pretty Wow, I definitely will lean towards I need a nude palette on a daily. These are my colors. I'm obsessed. But you know, once in a while, you just want that silver smoky. So I'm super excited about this. I'm in love with this palette. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, let me know what you think about these looks. What kind of looks should I create with this palette if I want to create more? Thank you so much for watching. If you purchase off of Natasha Denona website, please use my code Anastasia15. Um, it is also available at Alta and Sephora right now. I am going Going to leave the links down below and if you shop through my li links obviously you help me out a lot so thank you so much for that and i will see you in the next one bye